that emigrated in the 17th century to the north of Ireland. These Ulster Scots or Scots Irish built towns and roads in Ireland, and from a land of swamp and forest, they created a rich province. But by the 18th century, they were again on the move, this time to the British colonies of North America. The lands which were to become the United States. Oh, yeah, you're the people of Upper Octorara in Pennsylvania celebrate the 4th of July. Their Scots-Irish ancestors were in the forefront of the American Revolution, and earlier still, they were among the first of the pioneers to cut their way into the Pennsylvanian wilderness. The first pastor of Octorara Presbyterian Church in 1724 was Adam Boyd from Ballymena in County Antrim. The church has been the centre of a strong patriotic tradition since then. In the late 18th century, the gospel of revolution was preached here and the soldiers for Washington's army recruited. American patriotism at Octorara does not conflict with a strong Scots-Irish identity. Most early immigrants from Ulster went to Pennsylvania. There, the Quaker government gave them the freedom of worship, denied them in Ireland. The first Scots-Irish settlements in Pennsylvania were along the Octorara Creek, which runs into the Susquehanna River, southwest of Philadelphia. From here, they began to move in a northwesterly direction along the line of the Susquehanna, pushing the frontier deeper into the wilderness. Presbyterian churches, Upper Octorara, Middle Octorara, Fags Manor, Donegal, Derry, Paxtang, marked the line of their advance. They found a rolling, fertile plain on the banks of the Susquehanna and christened it Donegal. 